And San Diegans overcharged on water, water bills. An audit found that human error was mostly to blame. Days ago, Mayor Faulkner promised a complete overhaul of Public Utilities Department. And today, a special City Council committee meeting took place to look into the issues and come up with a solution. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala joins us live in downtown where that meeting just wrapped up. Mimi? Yeah, after human error was found to be the key factor of those outrageously high water bills, the city's audit committee just finished going through all of those findings, and now the Public Utilities Department is promising to fix these issues at hand so nothing like this happens again. Training is number one. Number two is a complete review and assessment of every standard operating procedure we have for customer service, for billing, for meter reading. We need to be respectful to the ratepayers of San Diego when they call in and have a question. Johnny Perkins just took over as the city's deputy chief operating officer of infrastructure and public works a little more than two weeks ago. He's now hoping to have most of the problems corrected by the beginning of next year and regain customer trust. He says the department will first look at management structure and protocols. Members of the city's audit committee say they were originally conducting an audit of the department after many customer service complaints. They then shifted their focus on the high water bills after customers said they were being overcharged. The audit found that 2,750 customers received high water bills due to human error. The city's report laid out 10 recommendations to fix and prevent these issues, all of which the Public Utilities Department agreed to implement. Currently, there are 37 meter readers with three supervisors. One council member brought up that some of these readers may be overworked, having a 17-mile stretch of meters to cover in a short time. Perkins says they'll be assessing these routes and looking for solutions. How many meters should be read in an eight-hour period? How many are being read today? And Perkins also says he plans to have updates for the city and the public on a monthly basis. Reporting live downtown, Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Mimi